Begin to explain the Fusion debugging method of a single projector. Before installing Fusion software, we need to find the dongle, insert it into the host's rear USB port. After plugging in, its light will turn on. Then find the installation package and unzip it. Open the Pixel Warp Setup main program. A dialog box to activate will pop up. Plugging the dongle into a new computer for the first time. Open the software needs to be activated once. There are two ways of network activation and offline activation. If the computer can access the internet, just click on the left. If you can't access the internet, click on the right. Then give the serial number to the salesperson. Do offline activation because this computer is connected to the internet. So just click to the left. There are three steps. Install the offline driver, the main program, and the patch package, respectively. Then click Next. The second step is to install the main program. Continue to click Next. This place click I accept. Install the default path. Don't modify it. This name is also the default. This place needs to be tick needs to be reversed. Tick show icons on the desktop. Cancel driver installation because the first step has already been installed. To this interface, be sure to click Finish and then Restart. After the restart is complete, we continue to open the installation package. Click on the third step. Then these files will appear on the desktop, indicating success. After installing the Fusion software, double-click the Fusion software icon on the desktop. Find the middle area and right-click. Choose one by one arrangement. Will show in the middle. The current debugging is 92 times 1002 resolution, one by one layout. Then right click, find the top place. Cancel Windows Warping. Then click Configure the Point Configuration file. Go to the Debug dialog. Select 2x2 two two in the geometric correction point. You only need to adjust the four corners. First, drag the upper left corner. Then drag the mouse to the upper right corner, lower left corner and lower right corner to adjust. Now the entire Fusion software debugging is completed. Then press the keyboard ZSC key twice to exit the edit box. Then select the parameter. TT exists. Start after boot, minimize after a start, automatic fusion after startup. Then start fusion again. Choose to save. OK, the overall fusion software debugging is completed. Fusion data on the ground. There is a warp linearly in the C drive. The data file in config is the fusion data. Can be backed up 